Texas has suffered drought conditions since January 2011. They've been triggered by a natural weather pattern called La Nina that periodically cools the Pacific Ocean and that brought warmer, drier conditions to the southern U.S. But James Bradbury, a climate scientist with World Resources Institute, a global environmental think tank, believes climate change may be making things worse. I think a good likelihood that the temperatures that we're seeing and the heat wave that we're seeing, which is all consistent with a warmer world, that that's exacerbating these drought conditions. The link between specific weather events, like the drought scorching Texas, is the subject of a new study co-authored by Peter Stott, head of climate monitoring at the Met Office Hadley Center, a climate institute in southwest England. We did find clear evidence for human influence on the Texas heat wave, uh, and also in the uh, a very unusual temperatures we had in the United Kingdom in 2011. According to the study, the 2011 Texas drought was 20 times more likely to occur than in the 1960s as a result of climate changing industrial emissions in the atmosphere. The heat wave last November in England was 62 times more likely because of those human induced changes. Stott says that while not all extreme weather events can be linked directly to climate change, they are more prominent in a warmer world. We saw that with the La Nina with Texas, but over and above that there's this additional climate effect that can and has indeed in the last year led to, to, to a greater vulnerability to extreme weather. Drought continues to parch other parts of the U.S., sparking wildfires and damaging crops in one-third of the nation's counties. U.S. scientists predict that these conditions could even get worse in the coming months. Stott says the new findings are a wake-up call that the adverse impact of a warming climate can be reduced by acting now to cut carbon dioxide emissions from cars, factories, and buildings. So hopefully people can understand, uh, you know, the implications of future climate change and relay that to what's happening at the moment. Stott says the study is the first of what he hopes will be annual reports, examining the connection between global warming and specific extreme weather events. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.